Hey guys, guess what today is? Yep, it's my birthday. September the 4th. I'm now 16 years old. I've just opened this present which I'm holding right in my hand as I speak from my dad, which is a new video camera. It is a JVC Avero S. And I'm quite happy with it. I'm just testing it out here on this video. And soon I'll be getting geckos as well. So this is Dino just running off there. I can zoom in here on this camera as well, which I couldn't. Gee, that's good. Which I couldn't do on my last camera. Except I have to. Bit hard to keep it perfectly straight. Maybe I'll lean on something. Let's drop this out. There you go, sort of straight. Well, I'll get used to it eventually. But, yes. It's looking pretty good at the moment. And I like it. And let's see if we'll autofocus here. And the beauty about this camera is it has this thing, something to do with YouTube, where I can upload videos on YouTube directly from the camera. Which is quite handy, since it, that's what I'll be using this camera for. So this is Rexy here. My female Australian or Eastern Water Dragon. For those who haven't met them yet. And uh, not sure if you can see, but that's Rexy there, the girl. She's a lot smaller than Dino, the boy, even though they're both babies. So he'll probably run away. He's not that tame yet. Okay. Hang on a second. A bit hard one hand, but yes, his Rexy here, she's a lot more tame. And Dino, come on, I yet. She just lets me pick her up whenever I want. Where Dino, down here. This camera's also awesome because it's got this light which is shining on Dino right now which is set to automatic so I don't even need to touch that okay okay left handed this is quite hard but I've got Dino and he's quite angry As you can see he's opening his mouth here Looking pretty angry. Looks like Godzilla. Sorry about that, guys. The phone just rang for me. Except, yeah, he is my water dragon. And now to the frogs. <laughs> right, so here's my bedroom. A frog tank, I'll just zoom out a bit. There it is there. Water at the front, and there's my fat ass frogs. I wonder if these automatic lights are turned on. Hmm. Oh, actually, I suppose I don't have to move close, I can just zoom in, can't I? 
But yeah, that's green tree frog right there. Mm, I wonder if there's a sensor or something. Oh, well. This one and the other one is down there. They don't actually have names at the moment. I never have and not only is it my birthday except I've now officially had my green tree frogs right here for one year exactly and this tank of course so what I plan to do next is um Get rid of my fish because they're a bit boring. Um, I'll take out all this crap. I might leave the pebbles in. I'm not sure. Do that or put sand in it. But put those bu air bubbles there and there into my frog tank's water. Get all the water out. And when I say get rid of my fish, I just mean chuck them in my grandparents' fish pond. So then I wish to. Get two bits of glass. Uh, get this whiteboard marker. So I'm gonna use this line as an example. It's two lines here. Make it a bit thicker. So there's this line here and I'm going to put glass there to divide it into three sections and then I'm going to have three different types of geckos and hopefully breed them. And I'll also need a glass cover over the top so they can't escape for the climbing ones and a mesh top here and yeah, it should be sweet after that. Paul Medhurst. Oh no, sorry, we we're talking about that is Alan Didac. Great Collingwood football player. Over here. Nathan Buckley, legend. Ex Collingwood captain. This is Paul Meadows here, my favourite player. Go the boys. Bucks again, Nathan Buckley, rocker, and yeah, I know I'm just rambling on, but just testing out my new camera. Dennis Blaze up here. Um, my selection of one of those gay firecrackers. Hmm. It's my cricket breeding program, pretty gay. Well, sorry, I shouldn't use that word. What I meant to say is it's not very good. I've only just started. I've only got a few crickets in here, which are adults, like so. They don't seem to be breeding. There's literally about five crickets in there. Well, a bit more than that, but... So I need to get some more, this container's probably a bit small to breed them. But I've changed their substrate to dirt so they can put their eggs, lay their eggs in the dirt. And yeah, hopefully, hopefully that will work one day. Save a bit of money on crickets. And now, Post a video when I get my geckos.